Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I just did court here. I always feel like I'm saying Stevia. Um, and then I was just like, oh, that blue is closed, and then what went down afterwards. Any hoozy. Um, if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I just did towards Virgo Capricorn. They are being uploaded. I, um, for those that are just joining, I am, I've been on YouTube for three solid years, and as of right now, I am recreating the channel, and right now I am dedicating Mondays and Tuesdays to you guys, okay, and you will find every single extended on Patreon for $8 a month, which is $2 a week, you can get up to definitely 13 videos, and if I do any during the week, okay, they will also have an extended. This one I'm doing right now, I'm going to call it week one of Mercury, okay, um, because the Eight of Cups keeps popping up, and I'm sure it's going to keep popping up, okay? And Mercury is about things coming back from the past, things that got swept under the rug, yada, yada. Majority of us know the deal, okay? Um, and we are in our shadow side, which really doesn't kick in until the 14th, but clearly it's here, okay? This Eight of Cups is, like, relentless. And the Eight of Cups is not a bad thing, Troop Loops, okay? It's just wanting more. And there's nothing wrong with wanting more, okay? Um, so, again, I'm a little late. Yesterday was Cade's birthday. Got a lot going on. Two cars broke down. It was just a little chaos, and I'm not trying to dedicate my two days to you guys and, and, and have it chaotic, okay? So, if that does happen again, you have them Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but, you know, for now, I really want it to be Mondays and Tuesdays. Um... But we're going to do week one of Mercury right now because it actually makes sense so that way everybody has an overlook at kind of what we're looking at because um, I want all the zodiacs to kind of have like a different vibe and it's not always going to happen realistically, guys, you know, it is, it's tough. Um, I know a lot of readers or when I used to watch Faithfully, um would try their best that each zodiac have their own message and it's just it's it's not really realist you know realistic sometimes when we're all working with the same energy okay um so right now i'm gonna do week one of mercury okay may 2021 and and just give you an overlook again though i won't have an extended if i'm gonna go and be like all right i'm gonna do a collective during the week then you're gonna get an extended from me okay but I just want everyone to be aware of, of you know, what's, what's going down. So week one, Mercury. And technically, this doesn't even kick in Mercury, really. They, you know, we're feeling the shadow right now, but the shadow really is supposed to, you know, kick in when the planet transits. And that doesn't even happen until the end of the month. And, and technically, it doesn't even start to the 14th, all right? So it's, like, at its weaker side, but in a way, it's, it's still got some strength because of its degree, okay? So, any who's the let's do week one of Mercury. Mercury retrograde. Oh, this little guy's like, why am I sitting over here? Why? Because I had to flip the camera. Okay. And for some reason, I, I mean, I really need the camera in front of me, so sorry about the computer. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So currently, holy shit. All right. <laughs> um, this is your current stance, okay? This is... Whoa. Okay. This is a big deal, okay? It's like a past lover, a, a past life soulmate to who... Oh, damn. I'm even caught off guard with this, guys, because the lovers and the two of cups together with the ace of coin. This is solid. This is long term. So this could be currently what you want, per se, because now I'm doing week one of Mercury. Okay. Um, this looks like what's coming in. It, it's just it could be with somebody brand new, somebody you're already with, you know, um, however you want to read it. But but, okay, this is currently what you want. You want something solid. And that's it. 
Okay, so this is how somebody feels about you or them, you know, take it as is. Yeah, okay, so this is somebody who's tired of not taking action. This was somebody who was watching, stalking, looking at photos, just constantly like all up in their head, okay? This was somebody who's not still, not making moves, all right? Um, if you wanted something solid, like a commitment, all right, you weren't getting it. You wanted more, you weren't getting it. Okay, so I don't know if there's some regret here. You're dealing with somebody, uh, a group here that definitely overanalyzes situations, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But the King of Wands is adventurous, you know, it's determined. And here it's like, ugh. But this is somebody who's like, why did I just watch? Why? Why, 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 why? And this is, I know. I know what I want. This is, why did I, why? Why this, why that? I, I don't know if, I'm not saying you're dealing with a baby per se. I'm just saying in general, troops, okay? So this is what you don't see coming. Mercury week one, what you don't see coming. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 it's like Pink Panther. Whoop, whoop. Okay. This is I want it all. Okay. It, it's not a bad thing. You're going to fight for what you want. Okay. This is contentment. This is happiness. There could be something going on with the family situation. This is, or just your contentment. It, something is not panning out or wasn't. I mean, this is what you don't see. So this might not have nothing to do with you. I don't know. We'll get there. Let's just see possible outcome real quick. I'm astonished. Good for you. This should be everybody in the entire fucking world right now. If you're in a relationship, make it work. Find the balance. Want something solid. You want mutual. You want reciprocity. You want long term. You want something that's going to grow. You want evolution. You want a beautiful connection. This is knowing your worth. I'm astonished. I'm not going to lie to you. Because that's, that's coming in, too. And everyone's like, oh, that could be unrealistic. No, that's not unrealistic. Pull your head out of your ass. Everybody deserves this. What you don't see coming. Yep, there's that eight of cups. All right, so this is this is somebody that's like... So, see, somebody already walked away from a situation. Or someone's about to walk away from a situation... Because they weren't taking action to go into an, another direction. Somebody was too busy trying to figure out what's next or why is this happening. Um, this is walking away from a situation. So I don't know if there's a lot of people in the picture. You know, it's Mercury, guys. We all have friends. We all have family. We, we all have, you know, someone in our lives. Whether it's a freaking animal, a friend, a lover, a family member. Okay. Um... This is somebody walking away from something that just was not bringing them happiness. Again, the Eight of Cups is not awful. All the Cups are standing troops. They really, truly are. It's just, it wasn't enough, okay? Um, and the Eight always walks to the Two. So it's, it's right around the corner. All right, past position. Now, this is past, okay? This could be yesterday, or this could be years ago. And as a reader, okay, um, I do my lineup how I do it. This is how I've read for myself for years and years and years and years and not actually on YouTube, but I decided to do that for you guys. Okay, so in the past, all right, it could be yesterday. It could be fucking years ago. Sorry, excuse my mouth. This is emotions. Tell me about this. This is, I don't know if you're dealing with a drinker. Or you're dealing with the water. This is this is emotional. Yeah. See, this is this is somebody who is no longer in a petty situation. Okay. Um, but this is also not dealing with a situation. Yeah. See, holding back, constantly all up in their head. What do I do? This is you were dealing with a situation. You were dealing with someone, whether this was you or somebody else, who was did not move forward, was not budging. Okay, 
And now all of a sudden, it looks like they want to drop the weight. So to me, somebody, you know, is, is missing you. This is whether you want it or not. All right. But this is somebody who's dropping the weight. This is somebody who's emotional or they just let their emotions get the best of a situation. Okay. Currently, let me take a sip of my coffee. Currently, again, this is what everybody should want. All right. Um, this is wanting long term. This is wanting something solid. This is wanted unity. This is it's you want something to grow. You want something to evolve. You're not going to place the seed. This is the metamorphosis too. Okay. You need the sun to grow something. So whoever this is, you know your stance. You know how something works. There's no games being played here. It's the golden fucking ticket. We should all want the golden fucking ticket. Okay? If someone looks at you like you're fucking nuts, go tell them to kick rocks. Everybody deserves the golden egg. Okay? So this is somebody who was lying and not speaking up. And, and they want balance. They want this connection. This is a very healing connection. This is somebody who's got a new spark. A new idea. A new opportunity. So you could have someone from the other side trying to put something together there. But to me, this is that, it's that balance. This is like a spirit. This is, I don't know what that is. Yeah, this is like a, it's almost like a spiritual gift. And not as in like your talents. It's, it's something you deserve. It, it doesn't, you just don't get to this overnight. This is years of dealing with bullshit, games, stupidity. And this is like, I want the fucking golden ticket and I want it now and I'm not settling for jack shit. Everybody deserves the golden ticket. But this is a very healing connection. It's, it's like, it's like sexual healing too. And, and I know it sounds so like, I hate to say something like that, but look at that. This is somebody who lied to you about what they truly wanted, or you just weren't getting the truth of a situation, you know, and, and now someone wants this balance because it wasn't there. And I don't know if it's because of this situation because this is somebody who, like, didn't want long-term, didn't want a commitment, didn't want to put the effort in. But now this is somebody that's like, all right, I got to be done hanging out on the damn sidelines. How he or she is feeling, please. How he or she is feeling. Whoop, whoop. How he or she is feeling. Yeah, this is somebody who's like, what the fuck? I sabotaged an opportunity. This is somebody who clearly had an opportunity to make a choice. And this is somebody who didn't want to make a choice. And now they're just like, shit, this is sabotage. This is someone who sabotaged their own situation. Clearly, there could have been three people or too many. Okay. Um, and it could just be a, a, a fucking nosy Linda. Or a no good Peter, okay? Who knows? Could just be a wingman. It, it doesn't have to be an, another lover per se. But we do have the lovers here, so I'm not really sure if somebody was interfering in a situation or, or you know, it's just, it's like enough's enough with that scenario because something wasn't moving. So this is somebody who now sees a future. Like this is like my ships are in shit. I can't believe I sabotaged a situation. I was too busy watching and 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 talking, or too busy doing all that instead of actually taking action. It's like not taking the initiative, and now they're just like shit. What did I do? They could be lonely, someone at a distance. So, what is this outcome? This is somebody who wants contentment. They, you know, it doesn't mean you have to be walking away from a person. It could be work. I mean, it 
could be a lot of things, right? But in general, this is somebody who just wants contentment. And they know that God needs to come down. This is this is an I'm sorry. You know, this is somebody who fought some type of connection. Yeah, they lost an opportunity here. Their happy is gone. This is somebody who's going to open up. Somebody was obviously, there was like a hot, there was like a, this is the hot chakra, like a blockage. This is, um again, we got to, you know, it could be a drinker here, but there was like competition. It just, it was, or someone was just battling their own brain. Okay. Um, but this is, this is like another situation where, no, see, this is a missed opportunity. This is, you know, somebody that's just kind of like, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, this is walking away. Like, something didn't make someone happy. Somebody eventually went within and was like, I'm, this isn't making me happy. I'm sorry. I'm out. So I don't know if there was competition. There was there was somebody, a nosy Nelly, that was interfering in a situation. So this is what you what you don't see, okay? So I don't know why I went to that. I normally would go to that and then that. So... That probably would have told us more. So I don't know if somebody's working their way backwards. Yeah, this is not changing their minds. Something's just not working. They're not putting effort into it. It could be a masculine no longer putting effort into a situation and manifesting something new. It could have been a family dynamic or just I wasn't happy in my, in my current circumstance. Somebody's all up in their emotions. So, Focus on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So I don't know if you didn't I appreciate a situation. I don't really see lack of appreciation. I do see a situation where somebody clearly sabotaged a situation. Um, but, you know, try not to worry if there was a family dynamic or something didn't work out. Like, you are manifesting something new. To me, it's, it's already here. Okay. Um... I don't even see shadow work, but that's a good thing. I think somebody's coming out of that. Um, I keep doing the um, things that make you go, mm. but I, again, I'm talking. There's the amount of cups that is on my board right now. Is I mean, somebody here? There's definitely a drinking scenario. You're partying too much. You're drinking too much, or you're over emotional. Either way, this is not good for your gut. Or this is basically saying what you had and what you're leaving, there's just no emotional connection, zero. Like very detached energy. Like it's it's, it's not like a, there was no emotional fulfillment, okay? It's that simple. It's tough. But self-indulgence, you know, you could just be over partying, so just be aware. All right, so I want to bounce out of this. This is what's really important because um, that's, that's self-worth. Like I said, focus on self-worth too. What what do you deserve? What do you, what do you want? You know, uh, what's best for you? Okay, and and this is a cycle. The cycle's over. Time to heal again. You're you're making progress. So this is coming in for lots of you. It, it's whether you put the work in to actually have it. That's what it boils down to.
Let's see what somebody wants to say over here. Somebody sabotaged a situation. There could have been secrets and lies, something you were unaware of or they were unaware of it. Yeah, see, I know I crossed the line with you. So this is somebody who knew what they were doing too. Okay. Um, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Now that's a little different. So I don't know if you came into someone's life and you were just friends and you knew somebody was going through a hard time, vice versa, take it as is. Um, Cause this is two different messages. This is somebody who came in knowing that somebody was hurting. Or if you didn't know, you eventually found out. So again, it could just be you that's actually a healer. You have that healing energy. Are you kidding me? Especially with the sun. Holy cow. And the ace of wands. So it's almost like you knew what you were getting yourself into. But it turned into something beautiful. Or this is just, or it was a shit showing you out and this is what you want and it's coming. But as of right now, these are love readings, okay? And it's going to resonate with all the zodiacs between today and tomorrow. So this is somebody who absolutely knew what they were doing. And again, you also, I don't think you knew the extent of what you were getting yourself into. But again, you know, Mercury is coming back around because whatever was swept under the rug is it's time to come out, all right? So... You do have something beautiful coming at you. You do have something ending. It's lack of emotional fulfillment. Your emotional fulfillment is clearly elsewhere. Um, what a what a sensational. It keeps pulling me to this. You're, you're dealing with like a, a healer. Could be somebody who does like Reiki. You, you could just be getting like massages. You're working on yourself. But there's, there's something here. It's like that spark. To have this combination... With this energy, too, is is you're holding yourself at high standards, which is absolutely freaking phenomenal, right? But um, this could be, you know, this is what you want. This is what you're going after. So it's, it's coming in for you. But if that's the case, it's you got to drop something that was weighing you down. And then, bam. Yeah, see, I know I crossed the line with you. I want to be more than friends. All right, so I don't know if this was a friends with benefits situation at some point. And again, it could be five years ago, ten years ago, five days ago, okay? Um, this is somebody is like, I don't want a commitment. You probably did with this energy. Because this is this is an inner knowing. That's a given that either it's... And, and you ask me, this is... Two people have that inner knowing. It's not just the Ace of Cups. It's the Two of Cups. So a lot went down. Okay. Um, so try to get in tune with your emotions. Take care of yourself. Okay. Well, it's obviously going to do week two. Um, but there is something manifesting. I mean, it's it's clear. It's It's right here. Your Ten of Cups is coming. Yeah. This is something that was already here, manifested, fully aware of. Okay. Um, and it, it's time to move forward. I don't know if you were holding it up or the universe is, was holding it up. Someone needs more confidence to step in. Someone had a really hard time letting a scenario go, but it is, it's just like, it's, it was stopping you from moving forward. But it's like, you, you see that now, though. You're aware of that.
Now somebody, <clears throat> now somebody wants to let that guy down. Someone must have something to say because I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't even have forgot about that. That's I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So emotional. Yeah. See, someone wants to swoop in. Um, I don't know if you guys are arguing right now. This is somebody who feels like they missed an opportunity with you, juggling their thoughts, their emotions. But this is seeing something now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. So this is somebody who's going to battle. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to put the work in. Someone that wants to balance the scales here. Okay. They know it's an obstacle. So. And, and again. There could have been a karmic situation. Too many people involved again with a three. This is somebody who was in and out of someone's life. And they realize what they did. They know they crossed the line. All right. So this is somebody. I don't want this. I don't want that. That's bullshit. They want it. And if not, you want it, all right? And you're not going to settle for less. So either way, this is great. It, it really is. It really, really is. Okay? All right, y'all. I love you. I love you. I don't know. Who wants me to throw one of these? So real quick. Nothing's real quick with me ever, but real quick. Week one, Mercury. Week one, Mercury. Yeah, balancing of the scales and shadow work. You really do have to work on, like, what you have in life right now. Like, appreciate it. Instead of being like, this didn't go that way, that didn't go that way. Like, you know, you got to go within. But this is you. This is week one. Okay, this is, you are going within. This is the balancing of the scales. Okay. Um, there was something karmic. Looks like that karmic situation is dwindling. This is justice. Something's going to go in your favor. Someone's going to want to come in. I, I want to balance this. I want to fix this. I, I want to work on this. There's still a lot of work to be done. But it, it is something that's going to go in your favor. No matter who you are. You leave in a situation because you want that, it's coming. You leave in a situation and going back to something, it's coming. I mean, I mean yeah, I can go on and on and on. But... Um, Seeing something, which is good. Let's just see what this King of Cups is seeing real quick. Which is the current past. Again, 10 years ago, 10 months ago, 10 days ago, 5 minutes ago. Yeah, see, they're getting it, picking up on it. Someone's going to come in and take action. Okay, just, just got to give it a little, a little time. All right, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I hope this helps.